Okay, I would like to use this database now to make a very short demonstration about uh, the results in case of tympanoscleotic status fixation. So we will use the same uh, type of uh, presentation at the beginning. So we click on, of course, surgery result, and then I'm going to select by pathology. And of course, I will select um, without cholesteatoma. So by clicking on that, I open up the same screen as before. So we have this 4,000 case plus primary, revision, and second stage. Let's um, just want to talk about the uh, tympanoscleosis itself. So what we're going to do here, I will go to uh, surgery. That's the, you know, you see this, the screen here is always the same. On the left, we have material and methods, sex ratio, total number of case, and date of surgery, uh, minimum and maximum, and the same for the age. And on the right, again, the pre-operative hearing thresholds, including uh, um, using these four frequencies, 0.512 and 4 kilohertz. All right, so let's go to tab uh, three, surgery. And then I will go to associated pathology, this line. And then I will click to, I will find the tympanos. So you have lots of different things, of course, but I just want to select tympanoscleotic stapes fixation, there we go, tympanoscleotic stapes fixation, 433 cases. I click on that. So we have now selected those uh, total number of 433 cases of tympanoscleotic stapes uh, fixation. But of course, some cases uh, were not with uh, stapedotomy at the same time because, because there was, for example, a simultaneous tympanic membrane um, perforation. So uh, let's go and I'm going to go to um, um, state epidolomy with uh, uh, vein graft and deposition. That's so, so I need to go on this line, state surgical technique, and I'm going to click on state epidolomy with interposition. So now we have 360 cases. So that's clearly interesting. So now I just want to, this is only the tympanoscleric state fixation that which were all treated uh, with uh, stapedotomy, but of course, if we look to the status of the ossicular chain, uh, we have to go to associated pathology. There's a, a list of different things, uh, which means uh, different uh, things that I encountered during surgery, eroded malus, uh, eroded incus, malus ankylosis, also uh, incus erosion, fracture of the malus, etc. So of course, we cannot use all these things uh, together, so I really need to select uh, definitely uh, uh, the case where there was only an incus erosion. That's something, for example, we can study specifically. So I'm going to click on this line, eroded dislocated incus, and then we have 284 cases. But that's not enough because, of course, there's a lot of different things. Sometimes we use uh, different types of prosthesis. So I will go to uh, osteoculoplasty and then just study what we have. We have the type of prosthesis. Um, well, we have uh, the Vincent Neomalis, which is the uh, malus replacing prosthesis, but these are the TORP, which we're using in this case because I, I remind you, we have tympanoscleric state fixation, state autonomy with eroded incus. So, of course, I had to use a TORP in any case. So, uh, but I don't want to use, uh, you know, if you go to the position of the prosthesis, we have MRP, malus replacement prosthesis to stapedotomy, we have malus to stapedotomy, and we also have tympanic membrane to stapedotomy, which is, of course, not the same. Uh, we all know that the result will not be the same if we put the prosthesis directly from the tympanic membrane here to stapedotomy compared to the one we have from malus. There's a better chance. So, of course, if you want to study the results, you can export that directly by clicking to with pre and post op but I think it would be interesting to be more specific. So I just want to click on malus to stapedotomy. I want to study my results in case of tympanosclerotic stapes fixation uh, uh, and with eroded incus treated by stapedotomy with interposition and with reconstruction with a torp position, which was positioned from malus to stapedotomy. So I'm going to click on this line. So now I'm happy about my selection. I have selected a group of 206 cases of TORP from malus to stapedotomy in case of tympanoscleric stapes fixation with eroded incus. So that's what we have. And now I'm going to click on with pre and post op 1 in 91 cases. And again, as usual, we now have more screen, more uh, 
uh, windows with the full up, minimum and maximum full up. We also have uh, on the right the post op uh, hearing threshold, po uh, post operative outcomes, airborne gap, mean airborne gap, bond connection, mean bond connection, air connection, etc. And I can directly go to post op and study, and you can, of course, export that. Uh, I can go to post op and see the complication. And you can see, of course, we have three cases of central hearing loss. So if I click on that, then I can have access, as I uh, presented to you before, if I click on central hearing loss, list of selected cases, then I have access to the patient uh, specifically. Uh, we also have all complication except uh, in terms of tympanic membrane perforation or retraction, autorea, cholesteatoma, that was the atrogenic cholesteatoma suddenly. Things like this, or so extrusion, the, you, you can see also the evolution of the prosthesis itself. So we have dislocation, extrusion, and of course sometimes we don't know. So what well, I'd say um, that I want to go to the list of my complications. So if I click to sensor on hearing loss, and I click to selected cases, and again, I have access to each patient, and then I can study uh, the problem to understand why I failed. So I think it's pretty cool, and I have the possibility to export that, and have access to the entire series also, and then make some publications specifically group by group, which I think is really interesting.